What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So hey, me and Chris are out here at the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier and we're trying to catch some snapper. We actually threw the net and I caught some pilchards earlier and we also caught some thread fins that we put on ice. That's the key guys. You want to keep any bait that you're using either alive or fresh. Those are the two most important factors when it comes to, to bait for snapper. Now today we're going to try to get five or ten mangrove snapper this evening. Well, when we got out here, we noticed the, the pier was just inundated. There was hardly any spaces to even park. So we do have an uphill battle here, but I think we can overcome those obstacles. Look at this beautiful sunset behind me. There he is, Chris. He's got me on my main on my thing. Oh, look at that little baby, guys. We need them a little bigger than that, don't we? It's all right. It's a start. Never want to find out why they call them snapper. Promise you. <laughs> <laughs> and you never want to find out why they call them snapper crisps. Not the hard way. Just get your pliers and take them off. That's why they call them snapper. <laughs> Look how quick that chomp is, dude. You see how quick that chomp is? All right, guys. So we're going to take these uh, dead baits here, cut them up one by one and uh, chum up the area that we're in right now. Josh has had some success so far. Oh, oh literally, there it is. A little bit bigger than the last. They're all over some kind of structure. Well, very nice, very nice. Nice enough. Hmm. Let him grow, let him go, let him grow. So these have been dead and they're on ice, guys. I'm just hooking them right in the nose here. And you want a somewhat smaller pilcher. Then I got my my piling over here. It's been a pretty hot ticket. And I'm taking it. The tide just started coming in and I'm chucking it up under the bridge about midways. So essentially where the yellow line is on the road is where I've been getting them. Now you could take little pieces and chum them up, but if they're on fire like they are, you really don't even need to chum them. You don't want to over chum. Let's see if we can get another one here. I got 15 pound test line. This is the Legend Extreme Medium Fast. And guys, this is my very brand new Daiwa Surtate. Look at that guys. This is the LT3000XH. Absolutely beautiful reel guys. Um, I'm going to show you more about that very soon, but the drag and the torque and how smooth it is, it's absolutely astonishing. Well, let's see if we can get another one here. Here we are. He's on it. Oh, he might have got my bait. I'm using a 25 pound test leader, guys, and a 1 0 circle hook. Pretty sure he got my bait. Almost positive. And that is the case. Hey guys, I just want to also let you know if this video hits 300 likes and you share the video, comment and you also comment on the page, I'm going to put you in a drawing for a, a nice little giveaway or a little gift. So help me get to 300 likes. If that happens, then I'll do a little giveaway. Got a toad. Oh. We got a toad. He on something, dude. Got him? No. Oh, oh literally a, a toad. Fish. Guys, so he had me on whatever structure down there. Look how ugly this little critter is. Get up nice and close to that. I gotta get my You really don't want to touch those guys. 
the towfish are always going to be a byproduct like catfish out in Sunshine Skyway fishing pier, guys. Just expect it. I guess I should have caught that toadfish on my toadfish rod. Dang, I don't even know if we need to chum. I mean, right now they're chewing. Oh, look. <laughs> That's actually a keeper, guys. Barely. Yeah, this is a keeper. He's uh, he's probably right at 10 inches. Look how fat he is. We'll let him go. He ain't big enough. All right, guys. Here's our little chum baits. It's Chris's. Cut them up. Jump down there, man. Put, uh, put your rod down on there. Let me chum them up a little bit. Like you said, they're hitting every bait, so you may not need to. Just a couple, get them fired up. I thought that one was going to be a little bit bigger. Alright, I got it. Oh, he's got me on something. There he is. He's a little on the small side. But it is a snapper. Catching lots of snapper, but we are having trouble finding the big ones. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Yeah, beautiful fish. Alright guys, so just so you know right now, the most effective technique that I'm using uh, includes this one ounce lead, and then it goes down to a little hundred pound swivel, which hundred pounds they're tiny swivels, and then a 25 pound fluorocarbon with a 1-0 circle hook. And I'm literally just feeding it back until I get the strike, guys. And as you can see, it's very effective. Caught some decent fish, but nothing too large tonight. But really, next month in uh, June, end of June, July, and August, out here at the Skyway, the snappers start really coming in. They get big. You get a chance to get 18, 19, 20, 24 inch fish sometimes, uh, which they're really nice. But you're going to average between 8 and 14, 15 inches. But great table fare, and they're not restricted with regulation, so it's, it's a highly sought after, a highly uh, prized fish. So I recommend you coming out here at the Sky Sunshine Skyway and checking it out, fishing for these guys. They're fun to catch. They can be challenging at times, but I'm going to do a little bit more fishing. Stay tuned. Uh, hey, if you guys want to see a snapper catching cook, let me know, comment below, and hey, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the bridge, on the water, or on the kayak.